everyone, welcome back to Learn Chinese with Miss Ming. This is Miss Ming. In this channel, I offer free Chinese learning lessons. In this video, we will learn how to make self introduction in Chinese. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also ring the notification bell. It is free to subscribe to this channel, but it will mean the world to me to support me and it definitely motivate me to put out more future content. All right, if you already subscribed to this channel, thank you so much for coming back. Without further ado, let's get started. In this video, we will first learn how to introduce your basic information, such as name, age, occupation, country of origins, and etc. Second, we will learn how to introduce what you like, such as your hobbies and your favorite food. And we will go over sample vocabularies as we are going through the sentences. Finally, we will learn how to ask questions about someone's name, age, occupations, and hobbies. All right, are you ready? Let's get started. 你好，大家好，我叫 Miss Ming. 你好 means hello. 你 means you. 好 means good or well. Basically, it means hey. I hope you're well. 大家 means all, everyone. 大家好 means hello everyone or hello all. 我 means I. 叫 means call. Miss Ming is my name. So basically, to say I am Miss Ming, you can say I am called Miss Ming. You can also say 我是 Miss Ming. But if you're Explicitly introducing your name, I would recommend to use 我叫 means I am called Miss Ming. Okay, let's try again. 你好，大家好，我叫 Miss Ming. 你好，大家好，我叫 Miss Ming. Great job. Next, we will introduce my occupation. 我是一名 and then you can put the occupation at the end of the sentence. 我 means I, 是 means M is R, 一 means one, 名个位 is quantifiers. In Chinese, we use quantifiers after the number when we describe how many of something. To say I am a something, I would say 我是一名 If you are introducing someone else, you can use other pronouns such as 你 you, 他 she, or 他 he. Please note that there is no difference in pronunciation between he or she, but when we write it down, they look different. They have different radicals on the side. Let's try again. 我是一名 or 一个 or 一位你是一名 or 一个Or 一位，他是一名 ，or 一个 ，or 一位。Great job. The differences between the three quantifiers is that 个 is very casual. It is basically the most common quantifier in Chinese. You can use it to quantify apples. People and a lot of regular everyday life items. Way is the respect form when you quantify people. When you're quantifying clients, customers, you usually use the word way. Ming is another quantifier you can use for person. We usually use 一名 
when we describe I am a student, I'm a teacher, I'm a police officer. If you don't know which quantifier to use, it is always safe to use ge, even if it's very casual. All right, let's try again. 我是一名，我是一个，我是一位。All right, now let's look at the common occupations. I am a student. 我是一名学生 I am a student. 我是一名学生 You can say 我是一个学生 But usually we wouldn't say 我是一位学生 because usually we don't use the respect form when we describe ourselves. If you want to say I am a teacher, 老师 you can say 我是一名老师我是一个老师我是一位老师 Usually, we use "wei" to describe teacher because in China, people respect teacher or teaching as a very noble occupation. We especially use "wei" when we describe he is a teacher or she is a teacher. 他是一位老师 Doctor. 医生，医生 ，to say I am a doctor， 我是一名医生 ，or 我是一个医生。Lawyer， 律师，律师 ，I am a lawyer， 我是一个律师，我是一名律师。我是一位律师 ，nurse， 护士，护士。I am a nurse。我是一名护士，我是一个护士，我是一位护士。Programmer or computer programmer， 程序员，程序员。I am a programmer. 我是一名程序员。我是一名程序员。Engineer， 工程师。工程师。I am an engineer. 我是一名工程师。我是一个工程师。我是一位工程师。Next, we will learn how to say where I come from. 我来自。来 means come. 自 has so many different meanings. One of the meanings is from. I come from. 我来自。我来自。To say I come from Beijing, China, you can say 我来自中国北京 Please note that the country will go first before the city because in Chinese system, usually we go from broader term to more specific term. Again, I come from Beijing, China. 我来自中国北京 or you can say I come from San Antonio, USA. 我来自美国圣安东尼奥。我来自美国圣安东尼奥。Where do you come from? Please comment down below. The next item on the list is to introduce what languages you speak. 我会说 and then you can put down the language. 
Hui means can. Sometimes it also means will. 我会说，我会说 ，I can speak English. 我会说英语 ，I can speak Spanish. 我会说西班牙语 ，I can speak Chinese. 我会说中文 ，I can speak Portuguese. 我会说葡萄牙语 ，I can speak Arabic. 我会说阿拉伯语。What languages do you speak? Please comment down below. In some culture, we don't always. Introduce how old we are. In Chinese culture, sometimes we we would introduce ourselves, and it is okay for an elder person to ask a younger person how old they are. To say, "This year I am several years old." You can say, "Wo jin nian." Put down the number and sui. For example, "Wo jin nian." 二十九岁，岁 means years old. It's the quantifier for age. 今年 means this year. If you want to be indirect, you can say, "Oh, I will be 三十岁 next year." So let's learn about how to say different years. 今年 is this year. 前年 is the year before last year. 去年 is last year. 今年 is this year. 明年 is next year. 后年 is the year after next year. You can also introduce your family. To say my family has or my family includes, you can say, 我的家人有 and you can put down the family members. 我的家人有我的 means mine. 家人 means Family member. 家 usually means home or family. It's a very general term. To say your family member, you put the word 人 after 家人 means people. Basically, it means the people in your family. 家人家庭 means family. To say my family member, you can say 我的家人有有 means have has includes or contains. So my family include maybe a mom or a husband. So you can just put down the family member after the sentence stem. 有 is a special word in Chinese that has different meanings. Usually, it involves a meaning that something contains something, something has something, something possess or include something. In English, the sentence stem could be "There are something in the house," but in Chinese, we would say "The house." Yo, something. Because there is no such thing as there be sentences. Let's try again. 我的家人有 My family has. 我的家人有 All right. Let's review the family members. 爸爸 Dad. 妈妈 ，mom， 哥哥 ，older brother， 弟弟 ，younger brother， 姐姐 
older sister, 妹妹 younger sister, 丈夫 husband, 妻子 wife, 女儿 daughter, 儿子 son. 我的家人有丈夫 and 女儿 Actually, I don't have a daughter. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. You can also introduce your favorites. You can talk about your favorite color, your favorite food, your favorite hobby. To say my favorite, you say 我最喜欢的我最喜欢的我的 Means my. Please note that what the can be separated. You can insert other words to say my favorite, um, my least favorite, something that I hate most. You can put the descriptive word in between wo and the. 最 means the most. 最喜欢 means like. 喜欢。颜色 means color. 颜色 to say my favorite color is or include. You can say 我最喜欢的颜色是 Or you can say 我最喜欢的颜色有 If you have one favorite color, I would say shu. If you want to say my favorite color include red, purple, blue, green, I would use the word yo as it indicates it include several items in the category. Again, 我最喜欢的颜色是我最喜欢的颜色有 All right, it's time to reveal the colors. Are you ready? 红色 red. 黄色 yellow. 蓝色 blue. 绿色 green. 粉色 pink. 紫色 purple. 黑色 black, 白色 white, 棕色 brown. What is your favorite color? Please comment down below. Now it is my favorite category: food. To say food in Chinese is 食物食物食 means eat. 物 means thing or things. 食物 means things to eat. It's basically food. To say my favorite food is or my favorite food include, you can say 我最喜欢的食物是 or 我最喜欢的食物Yo. All right. Let's look at the food items. Sandwiches, 三明治 It is phonetically translated from English. Also, hamburgers, 汉堡包 It is also phonetically translated from English. To say my favorite food is sandwiches, you can say, 我最喜欢的食物是三明治 If you like tacos or Mexican tacos, you can say, 墨西哥卷饼 or 墨西哥卷卷 means roll. Basically, tacos are like a roll, and it's from Mexico. That's why we say 
Moshigo Cantonese dim sum Guang Shu Dian Xin Guang Shu Dian Xin I also made a video in terms of how to order dim sum in the Chinese restaurant. After this video, you can check out my ordering dim sum video. Ice cream, bing ji ling, or bing qi ling. Chinese food, zhong tan, zhong tan. If you also have pets, you can tell us what pet you have. To say pet in Chinese is chong wu, chong wu, chong wu. Chong means spoil. Wu means a thing. Basically, your pet is something that you spoil. That's why it's called chong wu. To say my pet is a dog, you can say 我的宠物是一只狗. If you have multiple 宠物, you can say 我的宠物有 and list all of the animals you have. Some common pet animals include 猫, cat, 狗, dog, 兔子, rabbit, 金鱼, goldfish, 锦鲤, koi fish, 仓鼠, hamster. Next, we will talk about hobbies. Similarly, we can say, my hobby includes, and then list all of your hobbies here. To say hobby in Chinese, it is I how I how I means love. How actually has two different pronunciations or two different tones. When this word is pronounced as how, it means good, well. When this word is pronounced as how, it means to be fond of, to like, to have a tendency to. To say your hobby is I how, I how, I how. 我的爱好有, 我的爱好有. Let's look at some common hobbies. Play tennis. 打网球, 打网球, singing. 唱歌, 唱歌, exercise. 运动, 运动, swimming. 游泳, 游泳, play on the computer. 玩电脑, 玩电脑. If you are from Beijing, you would put an er sound after the word play, 玩. In Beijing, we call it 玩电脑. 玩电脑. All right, now we've learned how to introduce ourselves. Now let's change the statements to questions. How do you ask questions in terms of somebody's name, hobby, their age? Let's take a look. What is your name? 你叫什么名字? 你叫什么名字? You call what name? 名 means name. 字 means character, word, font, script, writing, style, name, symbol. 你叫什么名字? You are called what name? Where are you from? Basically is you from where come. 你从哪里来? 
？你从哪里来？你从哪里来 ？To answer this question, you can either say 我从北京来 ，or you can say 我来自北京。我从北京来 ，or 我来自北京。Again, where are you from? 你从哪里来 ？Please comment down below. How old are you? 你今年多大？你今年多大？ If you're asking a child who's under twelve, you can also ask, 你今年几岁？你今年几岁？几 It means how many, but usually 几 is used for numbers that are less than twelve. 多少 means how many or how much. 多大 means how big. Literally, it means you this year. How big? It means how old are you? Let's try again. 你今年多大 ？Or 你今年几岁 ？What do you do as your occupation? In Chinese, it is you. Do what occupation? It is very simple. 你做什么职业？你做什么职业？你 you 做 means do or make. 什么 means what? 职业 means occupation or career. What do you do as a career? 你做什么职业？你做什么职业 ？To answer that question, can simply respond: 我是一名老师，我是一个学生。What is your favorite food? In Chinese, you can say. You most like what food? 你最喜欢什么食物 ？To answer that question, you can say, 我最喜欢 Chinese food. Another way to ask the same question is, 你最喜欢吃什么 ？You most like to eat what? 你最喜欢吃什么 ？To answer the question, I can simply say, 我最喜欢吃 Chinese food. Similarly, you can ask, you most like what color? 你最喜欢什么颜色？你。最喜欢什么颜色 ？To say my favorite color is blue, you can simply answer, 我最喜欢蓝色。To ask, you have what hobbies? 你有什么爱好？你有什么爱好？你有什么爱好？ To answer that question, you can simply answer it by, "I like something." 我喜欢，我喜欢，我喜欢。你有什么爱好？我喜欢网球。
All right, that's it for today's lesson. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out future Chinese learning lessons. And make sure you ring the notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload. Check out the description box for other Chinese videos links and also links to a lot of Chinese materials that you can purchase online. And also to support me, you can also check out my lifestyle channel called Miss Ming Lifestyle. All right, that's it for today. Thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Happy learning!